Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. Welcome to the One Percenter Podcast. Today, we're going to be telling some stories, sales stories, about how people have made it, crushed it, killed it. I'm here today with NT Power, and I want you to understand this. Not only are they building a huge organization, they're making salespeople a lot of money. They're providing a lot of value to the communities that they're in, um, but they're great leaders, and they're great people. And every time that we have a podcast, our number one goal is to bring value to you and you're gonna get more value from this than anything you might have gotten from me all year long. I'm gonna tell you why. Because I'm an underdog, and when I see people get refined um, by life, by adversity, and they don't quit, and then they break through and they have massive lives, I always am like, man, I need to learn from that. And then I take that into my own life, and he was just telling me a story a minute ago, which you're about to hear right out the gate about how he didn't quit. Mama said, your wife said, don't come home, right? <laughs> Until this happens. And he made a decision to go ahead and stick in and be refined by the fire when I see a lot of people pull out too early and they never see their best life happen. So this podcast is gonna change your life. You're gonna get a lot of value for it. And plus there's even an opportunity in which if you would like to make a lot of money with NT Power, you can. Let's get to the video. Okay, guys, so like I said, I'm here today with the powerhouse. Now, obviously, you own the company. Is that right? Yes. Okay, and then she is the wild pit bull <laughs> that, that we, we let off the leash. By the way, women, this is important. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I always, uh, no, literally, he calls me savage. Yeah, I know. And, and, and I say this. Yeah, she is, and I know she is, and that's why we have her here with us because she's an animal. And by the way, I want to say this to, to all the men, right, women listening Women are very, very good at what we're about to talk about. Actually, women are getting into this space more every day. I'm watching more women make a half a million to a million a year um, by doing what they're doing and joining teams like theirs. And I want to say this to you. So men, listen up. Massive opportunity. Women, incredible opportunity. So everybody qualifies for this. Um, so number one, uh, tell, us, tell us who you are. Tell us what you do. I'm going to let it, you know, turn over to you guys. But when I met you guys, um, obviously, there's two things that I think that are super amazing, and most people can't find both, but you guys have it. A great organization that's a level 10 earning opportunity that has all the systems and processes that flow together that take care of people, and then also great leaders, which is human capital inside of the company. Because I know a lot of good companies, but you get in there and you're like, dude, I don't like these people. Or you see a lot of people you like, but then the organization sucks. And you're like, damn, man, you know, I would have stayed there if it would have been a good company or it was the great company, but then I couldn't stand that guy or I didn't like her. Right. But you guys have both. So let's get into that. Everybody watching this, this is a video. You don't want to click off early. If you're a true one percenter, you're going to watch it till the end. All right, let's roll. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Awesome. So Jonathan Glavijo. Uh, owner of the company. Well, first off, thank you for having us. Really yeah, appreciate man. that. Yeah. So this is Stacy. Obviously, you know she's a VP of sales. And for us, really, uh, eight years ago, well, actually more like ten years ago, when I got into solar, you know, it was all about hustling, right? Door knocking, getting out there, and putting yourself out there, really learning a new industry, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's the one thing I'll say, you know, as of right now. Solar, the solar industry is going to create more millionaires than any other industry. It's the fastest vehicle to create millionaires. I believe and, that. And there's a reason for that, you know, it's because it's energy. And we use energy every freaking day, you know. So with that, you know, you were talking about the story uh, with my wife, you know. <laughs> yeah, tell us. <laughs> and, and, and really, it's an interesting story because when I got started, right, I had quit a job that I was making about $60,000 a year, you know. And at the time, right, out of college, I was like, whoa, this is amazing. And I came home and I said, hey, you know, I think I want to go knock doors and I want to do it for solar, you know, because uh, I had a buddy of mine that was recruiting me. And um, my wife was like, are you crazy? Like, are you seriously crazy? And uh, I got into it. Right. I said, no, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Right. So when I got into it, it took me about two to three months to get my first deal. Mm -hmm. And guess what happens to that first deal? It canceled, <laughs> you know, yeah. and that's the part when I came back home and uh, you got your teeth kicked. Out. Yes, a hundred percent. And she said, you know what? You're going to have to get out there and figure it out. Like you're not going to come back home without a deal. And I started doing that, you know, basically every day, 
wake up in the morning, do my thing, and then get out there and hustle and hustle every day, you know, until the point that I got it, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and really, that's the one thing I'll say, you know, a lot of people, they associate themselves with um, basically uh, the wrong company maybe, right, mm -hmm. or the wrong organization, and that's when they don't really get uh, to where they should be going or where they need to be, right, just because of association. You know? Yeah, and I want to say something. You know, a lot of a lot of people when they hear solar, when you say door knocking, they automatically check out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, because they're like, oh yeah, I'm not going to do that. Can I ask you a question? Just do me a favor. Just look at it. Just just take a look at your ATM account. Just look at your savings account. Are all your homes paid off? Do you own a home? Are your cars paid off? Do you have enough money in the ca cash in the bank to live for the next two years if something were to happen to you and you have no more money coming in? Like, like people say I don't want to do that but then people hate the life they have and I think a lot of people are just afraid I mean can can, I, can we talk about that for a minute like like I've seen a lot of people get their teeth kicked in for a couple months and then get it okay and then I've seen people walk right out and do really well and get it right out the gate when you hire somebody and you're like man dude it's like beginner's luck my first day I made seventeen hundred dollars on the job in sales and I got to sell really quick we all have a different story of starting and um, that was luck it wasn't skill um, I learned uh, the next week that when I didn't get a sale that that was luck. <laughs> but my point is, is that we all start different. But in, a lot of people don't don't change, and and they're afraid, yeah. right? So like, truly, I mean, it's uh, it, with you guys and the way that you train, the way that you teach people, the the process that you guys have, they're amazing. You guys get people up to speed quick, making money, right? Yeah. Andy, you can be a single mom or a single parent in the industry. So eight years ago, I got recruited out of healthcare. And I knew nothing about solar, no experience. I just know how to sell. I know how to recruit. I know how to sell. It's what I do. People, partners, relationships. I can sell candy bars on the door. You can sell anything on the door, right? Mm -hmm. If you know how to sell, you can do solar. I knew nothing. You just nothing. believed in yourself. I believed in myself. But I looked at my superiors, too, and I watched and I observed. And I just literally watched them every day, day in, day out. What were they doing? I started doing it. I started replicating it. I started mirroring it. And that's how I grew myself in the solar industry. Um, my home was paid off, I have two cars, my kids are in private schools, and I'm a single mom, and I do it all by myself. And to me, that's like what I, the example I've been able to set for my kids is literally example that anyone can do. So that's I watch it. these kids these days, and I, my son is 14, and I'm like, this is what you're doing. You're gonna be knocking doors when you're 15. You're going to learn this. It's going to be your future. Can somebody be 40 and join this, yes. and somebody be 18 and join this? Yep. Doesn't matter your age. Okay, so let's just get that out of the way. Does it matter your age? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, then what does matter? In order to have with your company, if you were to say right now, like, and obviously, like, I want I want you guys to understand this. They are a installation company. Mm -hmm which means you get your money fast. They do the installs when they do the sales. They don't sublet it out to someone else, not another vendor. They handle it themselves. Your, your, your people that make the most money, the people that have the greatest lives, the people that get up to speed the quickest, what, what qualities do you guys look for? If somebody's watching this and they're like, dude, I wanna join your life, I wanna become a millionaire, let's just say, right? And they're like, you don't need a degree, right? I mean, you don't need any of that. You don't need a license, right? Nope. I mean, what do you need? Like, like, training. what what do you guys? But what do you guys look for in hum in humans you to be great in your company? You, you got, excuse me. No, you got to give a shit. We can say that. <laughs> this is Andy Elliott. I'm aggressive, man. I'm a sir. You got to give a shit about your life. You have to give a shit about yourself, uh, what you eat, uh, how you take care of yourself. I'm big on that. Um, your spiritual life. You got to wake up and just want to live life, and your energy has to manager and man it matter. Yeah, has to, yeah. Um, you you got to you got to want to be alive and not be asleep yeah. in bed. You gotta be able to focus. Yeah, and then one thing I'll say, you know, we're talking about this on our way here. It's like you gotta care. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't care if you don't have any sales experience. We don't care if you mm -hmm. come with like all these degrees or saying, oh yeah, WP carry ASU, anything like that. Like we don't care about that side. We care about you as a human and that you want to get something better or more out of life. Yeah, you you, you want to level up. Yeah, uh, it seems like you guys are attracted to people that just want to keep getting better. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right? Like at, at being human like human excellence. Self-improvement. Yeah. Becoming a better person. Yeah. yeah. So if somebody's watching this and they are like, dude, well number one, I do want to become a better person because obviously I'm watching a self-development channel right now. Yeah. Um, you know, that's one. And then number two, um, I would like a level 10 earning opportunity. I want to make more money. If you live inside of the United States, right? Mm -hmm. yep. If you live inside of the United States, okay, do you have to have an age? You got to be 18? 
you got to graduate. About 18. Okay, you got to be 18 years old. If you're if you're you got a good attitude, if you care, if you give a shit, right? Mm-hmm. If you want to have a good life, then right now you guys you, there's a, there's a link below. It says NT Power. You guys can click the link below and literally you'll answer a couple questions which are questions that are important to them. And you upload a 60 second video. It'd be pretty simple. My name's Andy Elliott. I live in North Carolina. Um, I'm open to relocating. You know, where are you at? We're, we live in Scottsdale. We live in Arizona. It's a beautiful state. Palm trees, mountains, warm weather. You know, everybody needs ener- ener- energy. It's the best place for solar. You're like, look, I, I want a good organization. I want good leadership. Um, you know, if, if you were to give me an opportunity, I'm looking for my way out. I want to make a lot of money. I want to take care of my family. Whether you don't have a family yet, you're wanting to build generational you know, um, wealth, right? You're wanting to change your bloodline. There's a lot of people that want to change your bloodline right now. Yeah. They're like, dude, there's nobody in my family that's wealthy. I'm not good at this, but w- w- what are you good at? Can you be nice to people? Could you learn if it, if it could change your whole life? Yes, I could. Okay, cool. You qualify. You guys need to make sure you fill out that information. All they're looking for is your heart. That's all they want. Mm-hmm. They want work ethic. You, you, you don't like lazy people, nope. but, but you could be lazy and make a decision to start working hard mm-hmm. and you could join a company, be a hard worker. That's how fast you change like that. Like I was once lazy and I was like, I don't want to be lazy no more. And then I found a company that found value in a hard worker. I became a hard worker and I got paid. Like everybody has the decisions to change everything, but you guys fill out that information when you click that link below, send over that quick video, they'll get a hold of you within 24 hours, yeah. okay? And go ahead. It's all about being part of a community, you know? Mm-hmm. So if you plug into our system, you're definitely gonna become a hard worker, mm-hmm. you know? Obviously you have to have the will, yeah. but uh, at the end of the day, it's like you have to be a part of a good community and that's what we can provide, you know? It's like mm-hmm. a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, and then obviously, you know, a, a, a good training platform, which I think that that's the one thing that you're definitely not gonna find everywhere. You know, like you said, there's a million, a million black companies some good companies, but the fi- the thing is, like, how long is it going to take you to find those good companies? That's it. Great companies. So it seems like you guys get your g- people that come to work for you. You get them up to speed pretty quickly because mm-hmm. you guys have gr- dr- great training in place. You have great leadership. Um, so, so tell us about that real quick. When I said that you're an installer and you have a sales side, right, can you explain what the difference is between what most solar companies have? and then why you guys have an unfair advantage on most? Yeah, so the majority of uh, you know, solar companies are, are basically sales orgs, which again- They're just sales only. They don't, they don't, um, they don't fulfill the mm-hmm. solar side. Right. They just sell the order and then hand it off and then have another company come in. Is that right? Correct. Just for anybody watching. Okay, and then now let's talk about what you guys do. Yeah, so what we do is basically have both sides of the equation. You know, you come in, you know exactly who's going to be installing your job, you know, whether that's a project coordinator, all on the back end. But more than anything, it's like you know whatever you're saying across that kitchen table Mm -hmm. is really going to happen. Mm -hmm. You have that confidence as a sales guy. Because, you know, like when you're promising something, right? I mean, you come from the car industry. It's like you want to make sure that whatever you're saying, it's going to happen, right? Yeah, Mm -hmm. because, I mean, we're here, in all honesty, to make an impact into people's lives. Yeah, that's right. Really, we're not we're not here for money, in all honesty. You yeah. know, really, we believe in solar. We're solar people, yeah. you know, and we know, we know that this is just going to continue to grow. It's going to continue to skyrocket. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a lot of really cool technologies that we have in place, like an amazing partnership with Tesla Energy. Awesome. And, and with that, you know, it's like we know that anybody coming through the door is going to just benefit from that opportunity. Yeah, and I want to say something. So when I was in the automotive industry, we were in Oklahoma, right? So we sold a lot of trucks. And everybody in the Midwest is a redneck, right? Like big lifted ass trucks, six six inch lifts, eight inch lift, 12 inch lifts. Every truck, every Jeep, everything was lifted, right? Like we lifted everything. And so in the beginning, I just want to give you guys some analogies. Um, We used to sell these trucks. And then we would have a vendor lift them, wheel, tire, align, Mm -hmm. they would do all the work, right? And it just seemed like they would always come back and what I told people they were getting, they just weren't getting because we weren't doing the work, we would send it to someone else, right? And then one day I was like, screw this. I'm like, we're gonna hire our own wheel guys, we're gonna hire our own uh, tire guys, we're gonna hire our own lift guys. We're gonna buy our own stuff 
because I just got so sick of like doing things like three or four times for people and my trust I felt like wasn't being good even though that I sold what they were getting someone else was handling it so finally we brought it in house mm -hmm. which is what you guys have you guys do the work that you sell now I was selling a truck and then also I was selling the work right that we were going to do to the truck to lift it wheels tires all this stuff um, all the aftermarket mods even though it's not the same it was kind of like when we moved it in house we never had an unsatisfied customer again and literally like everything got smooth so I see in the solar industry right now a lot of sales orgs and installers since they're two complete different they hate each other <laughs> like like one says well the sales guys they they say this and you can't get that and then and then the sales guy go the installers they don't know what they're doing you know they're screwing it up and then the customers are in the middle and they're the ones that end up getting screwed yeah. because these two are yeah. yeah so so but you guys have it all in house in one place which means customers are happy as hell and number two you get paid very fast because the work gets done quicker because it's all in house and you get the proper training that's one thing i'll say that's huge that's one thing that we we have control over is how they're getting trained, mm. how they're selling the deal, knowing the customer at the end is getting what they actually were promised. Mm -hmm. And I would say that's the biggest difference between us and just a regular, you know, sales team that might just say whatever you can say to get the, the sale and the installer has to deal with it for the next 25 years. It's their customer. And the thing is, is we want to be their customer for the next 25 years. We want to know what they're getting on the door is actually what they're receiving at the end point. So our passion is to make sure that these guys know and women uh, know how to sell the right way, mm. right? And um, and trust that mm -hmm. they're actually going to get what they were promised. Yeah. And I think that's what Jonathan and I, I call installation the dark side, mm -hmm. um, convinced me to come back to the installation side because I've been with a few different installers. I've worked with so many installation companies, I'm not going to name any names, um, nationwide. Why do they call it the dark side? <laughs> like, because like it is in, the in, most in difficult your... thing to get <sighs> right. And most installation companies cannot get it right. They want to get it right. They think they have it right. But when you're installing post 30 to 45 days, you just ain't getting it right. Mm -hmm. You know, customers don't want to have PTO at, at 90 days. You know, and they want their system. It's an investment. You yeah. know, it's it's more than most of their vehicles cost. Yeah. It's a life decision for them. And if you don't get it right, you're messing with their investment. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's, it's you got to get it right. And it's the reason why I came on board here. Yeah. yeah. So, so he has some systems in places that allow you yes. to not make installations a nightmare because exactly. it's seamless, mm -hmm. right? It's just it's nice and simple. It's nice and easy. Simple. Yeah. yeah. It's all it's all about experience too. You know, like between our leadership at Inti, you know, we have over thirty years of experience of just solar mm -hmm. only. You know, just working in solar. But uh, one of the things that you were mentioning, you know, it's like you have those sales orgs, right? And we still have we we have those too. You know, and with that, they love us. Why? Because they're not waiting that long. They're getting paid fast, you know. And also, we provide that training. Mm -hmm. We're not after, like, we get phone calls every day. Say, says, hey, you know, I see your video. Hey, can we partner with you? Mm -hmm. And the first, the next question is, like, what about pricing, right? Mm -hmm. And that's a, the biggest turnoff for us, you know, because it's like, if you're just after pricing, you're talking about the alignment, like, installers hating salespeople. Mm -hmm. It's because the the, the yeah. interests are not aligned. Yep. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yep. So we want to make sure that they're aligned with us, we're aligned with them, mm -hmm. and then we can grow partnerships. Mm -hmm. So we have amazing partners that their sales works. They love us. They've gone through like four or five. You know a few of them. Yeah. Uh, they're going through like four or five installers, and they finally found us. But again, they have to have the right mentality. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's two things. And if you're watching this right now, I'm going to say this quickly. If you're looking for a level 10 earning opportunity, so let's say from one to 10, right, like Walmart was one, mm -hmm. and then 10 was like become a millionaire plus, right? If you're looking for a level 10, you found one. And if you're not in a level 10 right now, well, you just found your way out, like, like right now, and you qualify. And all you have to do is go down to that link, click on it below, literally enter a couple, fill out a couple of the questions, answer it very simply, send over a 60 second video Stacy will reach out to you okay and she will say what's up and then she'll talk to you or somebody from your team will yep. super important though um, this is your way out I, I see a lot of people and I we said this earlier and I think it, he was gonna say it but I'll say it is that if you're drowning and a lifeboat mm -hmm. went by yep. you would be stupid not to swim to the lifeboat mm -hmm. 
and I see people that say, I got this. This is going to be a good year. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a newsflash. If the play you ran in 2023 didn't work, the play isn't going to work in 2024. It's time to run a new play. Some of you right now, it is time to run a new damn play. You keep saying, look, I'm not a quitter. I'm not telling anyone to quit, okay? Sometimes it is good to stop something and start something else. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Quitting would be to stop working. Quitting would be to give up on your dreams. But sometimes your, your ignorance doesn't let you stop and then restart. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like that's the key, like we never quit, but sometimes it's good to stop something and start something else. If you're in a relationship that's a bad one, maybe it's time to stop that relationship and then start a new one. You know, maybe it's time if you're in a company right now that you've been in for a while that you one day saw yourself growing and you haven't grown, you know, maybe it's time to stop that company and then it's time to start another one. You know, maybe it's time if you're in a state and you haven't grown and you grew up in that place and you're ready to find a new identity, maybe it's time to stop being there and go somewhere else. So if you guys fill out that information below, it's very simple. I mean, it's 15 questions. And by the way, they're not tricky. It's just, how do you think? Are you looking for something long term? You know, are you coachable? It's very simple stuff. And then you sit in a 60 second video, which means we got to put a name with the face. Then we'll reach out and we'll kick some ass. Let's flip to the other side because we have a lot of solar companies that um, that that are always constantly learning, training, sales, closing stuff, and they want an edge. They want to win. So you're saying if somebody right now has a sales org, and they're currently using an installer mm -hmm. and they're wanting a better partnership, right? Yes. Um, how do they reach out to you? Would they fill out that information below and then maybe in the what skills do I have to bring to the table or what am I good at? Would they say, we have a sales org, I wanna reach out and talk about installations? Exactly, 100%. Let, let, Let's talk about that for a minute. Is that cool? Can we yes. talk about the install side? So on the install side, you know, uh, there's a lot of pain points, right? The main thing is like you were talking about, not controlling it, uh -huh. right? And it's like, I don't know what's going on with this homeowner. And if you care, because that's who we want to partner with is people that care, mm -hmm. uh, then at that point, it just becomes a nightmare. So with that is communication, right? Mm -hmm. We have a team that's going to be communicating with you specifically to know what's going on with your deals, what's happening, you know, just reviewing what's going on with every single case that you put through. You know, and for us, really, we treat it because we both come from the sales aspect, right? Mm -hmm. From the sales side. So we know that this one, two jobs a, a week could mean a lot of money for this, to, this rep or this org, yeah. right? So we treat every kilowatt. I, it's funny to me, you know, and we're going to get a little bit on the jargon, but, you know, it's funny to me when people say, oh, yeah, this was a small system, you know, only four kilowatts or five kilowatts. I'm like, a kilowatt is a kilowatt, you know, mm -hmm. in the sense that I know that that's going to impact that person. Mm -hmm. So with, with that, though, the, the installation side, you know, it's pretty tricky. Yeah. And you want to align yourself with a good company that not only is going to have your best interest in mind as well, because obviously providing that training that you're talking about, the communication, but also looking uh, after you're looking for you, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in, in that sense, it's like, what are the things that are happening in the industry? For example, you know, we're talking about Tesla and that partnership, you know, coming out with batteries, all these new technologies that are coming out, mm -hmm. it's like uh, new financing, you know? Mm -hmm. All those things we, look, you, we see, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, hey, we, we foresee that coming and we're already, you know, training your guys to be able to be on that cutting edge. Staying in the know is yeah. the biggest thing, the biggest trends, like where, where we're headed, where we're going. Um, like you were saying, leases. Leases are super heavy right now in Arizona. So what can we do to provide that value to the partners out there? You know, a lot of times installers will just leave salespeople hanging and not really provide them the value that they need. And without sales, we can't install. Mm -hmm. And that's and that's the thing is you got to provide your value to them. And that's something that, that Jonathan has implemented, the foundation, um, and that I saw value in him and he saw value in me is, is what I want to provide to the partners and the sales works and sales mm -hmm. guys. Yeah, and um, so a couple questions. So primarily, right, you guys are in Arizona, is that right? Yes. Right now. And let's talk, let's talk about that. Why is, Air, I mean, by the way, I want to tell you guys this, this is super important. I changed my life when I moved to Arizona. I lived in Oklahoma. I moved to Arizona. I never understood the power of a move, right? Like, 
Um, nothing changes until you change. Uh -huh. So for anybody watching this, um, people are moving all across the country to find opportunities in different places. They move. If, if what you can't, if what you want isn't in front of you, you, you find it. Uh -huh. You don't just go, oh man, well, I just, I'm gonna settle over here. No, you find it. And when I moved to Arizona, like, it's so beautiful. You know, I just got back from Cabo, flew in this morning, and I land, and it's nice. And then my other two, three buddies that were with me are moving on to Montana and Salt Lake City, and they're going back to negative 40 and mm -hmm. 20 degrees. And they're, and they're like, dude, 80 degrees. And I'm like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's winter. And I'm like, well, the cool thing about what we have is that we have warm weather all year, so it's almost like a vacation. Every, do every morning I wake up, I walk outside, and I see palm trees. Every morning I walk outside, I see mountains. All the time, I'm just like, dude, like this is like paradise. It's so much opportunity. Gosh, and and then I want to go to the to the income part. Mm -hmm. It's such a great place, beautiful people, beautiful stuff, mm -hmm. beautiful state. Our laws, our regulations are so awesome here. Mm -hmm. I watch states that are just heavily regulated, and we have it so easy. And and it's such an entrepreneur state, yep. right? Like there's self development and growth everywhere around it but there's so much opportunity. So that allowed me to build a new identity. So if somebody's watching this and they're like, I wanna become a new person, like my move to Arizona, like allowed me to become somebody that I'd never been because I went to a new place. This guy the other day said, I've been trying to change Andy and it's just so hard. And I said, if I moved you across the country to a new place where nobody knew who you were, where nobody knew anything about you, it wouldn't be scary. It would be the greatest thing that ever happened to you because it would give you an opportunity to change. Mm -hmm. And nobody would be judging you because they don't know who you are. Yep. And people just don't think that way. You want to change. The hardest thing to change is in front of people that don't know who you are. So you guys, you can literally go down, fill out the information, send over a 60-second video, have a conversation with them. Two things that will happen are amazing. Number one, you get the opportunity of a lifetime to have unlimited earning potential, which is just insane, and be around great leadership and a great organization. But number two, get a chance to really alter your identity and become who you've always wanted to become. Mm -hmm. Whether you're by yourself or you got a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a family, like you just shift and move. And I'm seeing more people shift and move here right now and create wealth at speeds that were impossible wherever they stayed and they're able to do it here. And that's what you wanna see people do, right? Yes. You grow the most, I think, when you are uncomfortable in that change. And it's a mm -hmm. really comfortable feeling. I've been through it a lot, but then when I look back and it's like, crap I learned a lot from that situation yeah um, Jonathan has a lot of experience in that too but it's like you know that's that's when you really have to dig in and deep and look at yourself and you're like some take that split side. I mean if you're taking minutes to think about it you're already gone like yeah I want you to think about it. she just said if you're taking minutes to think about it you're already gone um, what that's called is rationalizing like mm -hmm. do I deserve to have a life like this and most people don't they will say well that's not what I'm thinking about bullshit because if you knew you were worth it and you weren't getting it already, mm -hmm. you would have done something about it. But you're rationalizing and going back and sitting in the mediocrity. You're conforming to the world and you're becoming civilized. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And by the way, I think, I think your method, which is what you're saying, you go, he's been through it a lot. What you guys are talking about is putting your back against the wall mm -hmm. and betting on you. You know, how many people, and I want to say this to everybody, how many people have bet against people? Oh, that's not, that guy's not going to make it. She's not going to make it. They're not going to make it. Right, like so many people will bet against you, but like you, like bet against me. Like when you put your back against the wall and you go in, like that's when the good shit happens. <laughs> I'm laughing and because we were having a conversation, we talk every day and he's like, well, what did I, I go, I'll figure it out. And he goes, what do you mean? I said, look, I'm gonna figure it out. Because no matter what, I'm gonna figure it out. It's the only option I have is figure it out. That's it. You know, and so he just looks at me, he smiles, goes, okay, let me know when you figure it out. Yeah. You know, well, but it's like, that's a mentality we have to have day in and day out is wake up and figure it out because that's your mentality. You're just not going to grow. Well, and I love that, that you didn't say, well, I don't know. You're like, dude, we'll figure it out. And at that point, that means that you're saying, hey, I'll handle it Yeah. and I'll get it done. And I think a lot of people, the reason why, listen, right now, the universe will reward you with as much money as you want. It will give you as much wealth as you want. It'll give you the lifestyle you want. It'll give you the results you want. But you must make bold moves. Mm -hmm. I want everybody, yeah. if somebody's even wrote down notes, make bold moves. Go back and look at your last five moves. Were they bold? You know what I'm saying? Were they? And, and I think that that's big. I think that when, 
when me and my wife, I remember when I was uh, starting my company, um, there was this influencer, this business owner I wanted to train with, I wanted to learn from. And uh, I finally got with him on the phone. And he goes, you know, I mean, I knew I had about two minutes. He goes, all right, what do you want to know? It was just very simple. And I said, oh, I know how to do this. I want to know how to do this. I want to know how to do this. And he goes, well, if you're at Y and you want to get to Z, this is how you need to do it. And I said, what will it cost? And he said, 250 grand. And I said, okay. And he goes, listen, there's two types of people. Appreciate you telling me how to do it right mm -hmm. and I'll get back with you when I'm ready and then that is everything I want to know and if you can really do that what's the wiring account and what's a rounding number mm -hmm. and you'll wire the money over so I want to know he goes I want to know who you are and at that point I didn't even talk to my wife yet I said we're gonna wire the money and the reason why is because I knew that I wasn't making false promises to my family anymore and I was gonna get us to a place that we hadn't been so I needed to start making bold moves I knew if I could just get the information, if I could be around the right people, if I could be around someone that was able to do it, I could just learn from them, that I knew that they weren't better than me. They just knew more than me, or they were more educated, or they were more refined by me. They handle adversity different than me. Like they could make, and by the way, clearly they made decisions faster than me. Mm -hmm. And he basically said like, there's those that make decisions and those that can't make them. And how I respect a leader is based off the decisions that they make. I spent that money, went out, flew out, trained with them, spent 250 grand. Before I left, I spent another 75 grand because he gave me another opportunity to train more with them. And dude, I'm telling you, like, that was the best money I ever spent. That next year, we made an additional $9 million. I want to tell you something. Mm -hmm. You have no idea. And I had to get on a plane. I had to fly down there. I had to go get, I had to go get uncomfortable. I had to leave. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of people say, well, what if it don't work? I can't believe you did that. All those people now are asking, how did you do it? Mm -hmm. And if I was to tell them right now, guys, there's a link you can click below, wire over 250 grand, everybody'd be like, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> well, all of a sudden, shit gets real, uh -huh. real fast. You know what's gonna get real, real fast? Yeah. Is that if some people don't start taking their life more serious mm -hmm. and start taking action with people who wanna give them a better life, your time's gonna run out, time is like a river, it never stops, and eventually you're done. You said something that um, I, I have heard so much in the industry lately, but first thing is extreme ownership. Mm -hmm. We're reading a book right now, our leadership Jocko. team, Jocko. and it's called Jocko. Extreme Ownership. And I hire people that want to take ownership. Mm -hmm. If you can't take ownership of your life or of initiative when you walk in the office, like you're un you're not valuable to me. Like mm -hmm. I know that sounds crazy, harsh, rude, mean. It's the truth. But you know what? If you can't take ownership of something in your life, then you're just not going to bring the value. But you said something to me, and I'm going to put this out there for those that want to apply. Mm -hmm. If you have to go home and talk to your wife, do not apply. Because as a man, for me, or a female, you have to go home and take ownership of your family, of your life, of your of every aspect of it, you know. Mm -hmm. And you said, I didn't even talk to my wife. I just... I took ownership of the situation and that's the type of leader that we are looking for is someone that just wants to make a decision take that ownership be that leader mm -hmm. to their family to themselves to an organization and make a difference you know yeah I, I want to say this my wife for a long time I would go ask her hey babe do you think that uh -huh. I would do this and she goes well I know you and when you really want to do something you just do it anyways yeah, right. mm -hmm. So the fact that you're asking me makes me think that you're second guessing yourself. Exactly. And I'm like, no, babe, I'm not. But I just wanted you to back me. She goes, I've always backed you. Yes. I've never not backed you. Okay. And as a female in yeah. the industry, yeah. I want leaders that aren't going to second guess themselves. And they're going to go, you know what? I took care of it already. I'm going to make this effort. I'm going to apply. Mm -hmm. And you know, I want to come work for you guys. And, and that's the type of leader I'm looking for. I know Jonathan is too. Yeah. And your family wants the lifestyle that you always told them that they would get one day a lot of them are still waiting around for it i was talking to this guy the other day and like he started training with me back in 2019 right and he, he trained one time and then he disappeared mm -hmm. and then the, the guy popped back up and he goes man dude i i i need to get mm -hmm. back in close to you i said do you remember back in 2019 you made a promise to your wife because he told me that when he spent the money on training that she gave him a hard time do you know why she gave him a hard time because she knew that he was going to show up get some information one time, go back home, make a bunch of false promises that he was going to do it, then not follow through. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that the training didn't work. It was just that he wouldn't follow through on his commitment to keep true to the training that I taught him. Yes. And you have to plug in to, to stuff to make it last, to make it work, and to get the benefits out of it. And with the company, 
you must work for a company that every day you can plug into that makes you want to be a better individual for your customers, for yourself, for your wife, for your kids, for your husband, for your team. And, and look in the mirror, and at the end of the day, your family's proud of you, your kids are proud of you, you're proud of you. And I want to say one more thing. And then lastly, you know, which I, I always sometimes will talk money first, but I'm going to talk it last now. You look in your bank account and all the hard work that you've put in, it is reflecting your hard work. Yeah. When, Dude, when you're looking in your bank account and you see six figures in the bank, you know, I mean, especially like, or even someone seeing five now, like if you see $50,000 and you're 22 years old, or if you're 22 and you see $100,000 plus in your bank, you're like, man, dude, like, like the hard work is paying off. Like, I don't just feel it. I don't just see it, but I can truly see it. Mm -hmm. And so when I say level 10 earning opportunity, a lot of people feel like they're getting somewhere, but they're not getting anywhere. Could you imagine running on a treadmill and for 30 minutes and then when you got done, it said you ran zero miles. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd be pissed. <laughs> I'd be like, dude, I know I've been running for 30 minutes. I'm going to freaking punch this machine. Yeah. Or going to the gym for one year and then literally not seeing not any seeing results. results. Gained no more muscle. Gained no more. Um, never lost any body fat. Didn't look any different. Didn't get the mindset gains. Nothing. Mm -hmm. I'd quit. Yeah. Well, so many people, they're giving up eight to 10 hours a day. They're going into an office or a workplace five days a week, mm -hmm. minimum, and literally they have nothing to show for it at the end of the year. They didn't become a better person. What I love about you guys, you go, hey, we just want you to self-develop. Mm -hmm. That's all we want. That, mean, that means we want to make you better for you and your family. That has nothing to do with us. That's for you. Now, on the business side, once we do that too, we also want you to be able to look up and then when you run 30 minutes on the treadmill, see how far you've ran. We want you to come and do the work. We want you to get paid handsomely to do it. Mm -hmm. And I think we call that heaven on earth. Yeah. You find a great leader, you find a great organization, you find a great earning opportunity, you help people and you get paid to do it. <laughs> it actually ends up being something you become very passionate about too. Yeah. In the long run, if yeah. you're not passionate about what you're doing, you're not gonna love it. Your energy's not gonna be there. And that's one thing when you walk into the office with Jonathan and I every morning, it's a hug. It's good morning. Yeah. How are you? You want to be there. You know, everyone in the whole company is that way. Uh, yeah, you guys are just like us. I mean, we're <laughs> hugging. <laughs> we hugging meet. Group. It's like, yeah. Everybody's yeah. just hugging. Everybody's like, you well, because. smell a little bit, but I'm going to give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you could smell, and I hug you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, no, no, but listen, I'm telling you guys, like, but that's the, that's the deal. And there's a lot of companies right now that are like, what, you guys hug? What do you mean? They, they don't know what you mean because they've never been around that yeah. type of love. Yeah. You're a savage, but also you're loving. Just because oh, you're a savage yeah. doesn't mean you go in and you're a bitch, okay? Right. Or you're a dick to people. It Correct. means that, you know, you have a heart, you love people, you wear your heart on your sleeve, but also you're very direct in business because you don't want to lose, you're a winner, mm -hmm. and you always want to win. So you're figuring out how to love your people and then take them on a journey to win. Right. And, and by the way, like anybody watching this who's 18 years or older, like this is your new sport. Like business is your new adult mm -hmm. sport. Yep. Like what sport do you play right now? If you're over the age of 18, it should be business. Business is your new sport. Mm -hmm. And you gotta have a good uh, a coach, you gotta have a good leader, you gotta have a good company to make your sport. And I've learned that a lot of people don't see it as a sport because like you, you're competitive. So if, so, mm -hmm. if I came and worked for you, you're like, hey, I'm gonna get you a check, we're gonna get you paid, I'm we're gonna start teaching you. you. If I have to be. Yeah, like you're gonna do whatever it takes mm -hmm. to see this person be successful right. because that's a teammate on your team and right. that's your sport. And I just want you guys to think about this, right? right? Like, like, I actually want them more successful than me. I'm gonna be successful no matter what, but I wanna see them mm, that's good. earn more than me. Yep. That's my goal, that's my, that's part of my leadership thing is as I get fulfillment out of actually taking my knowledge and passing it on to people. Mm -hmm. And then I want to see them lead. Yeah. Those are the type of leaders I'm looking for where they, they can check their egos at the door. They don't walk in. They, there's a difference between confidence mm -hmm. and have an ego. Mm -hmm. I want people that are confident, coachable, but they can check their ego at the door. Mm -hmm. And those to me are true, true leaders. That's right. And um, I give them everything. Jonathan knows, so you can call me at 10 o'clock at night, I'm answering my phone. Yeah. My partners can call me today, I'm answering my phone because I'm gonna give them the best of me. Yeah. Um, and so that's This is your life. It is, it's my yeah, life. Yeah, it's not a job. No, no, I'm super passionate about it. Yeah. No, Very you know, passionate about people it. People don't want jobs anymore. Mm -hmm. you know, they want a lifestyle, they want a path. That's right. We can definitely offer that, you know. It's all about the journey. You know, you were talking about the bank account. You know, if you enjoy the journey, that bank account, you're not even going to notice. It's just going to grow. It's going to grow. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep.
Yeah, so I like, think about it, guys, right now. If your car was out of gas, what would you do? Would you sell it or would you put gas in it? Okay, if you keep saying you want a successful life, if you keep saying that you want to be around the right people, if you keep saying you want to be around like-minded individuals, if you keep saying you want to self-develop, level up, all the things that we say, okay, well, here's your chance. Here's the gas station. Here's the, here's the lifeboat. Okay, all you have to do is very simply, you go down to the link below, okay? If you guys would like to meet them, it's very simple. Answer their questions, send over a 60 second video, and yes, you need to send over a video because they want to put a name with a face. Mm -hmm. If your name's Stacy, I want to see your face. I want to see you because I want to do life with you. I want to build a future with you. Um, if that's what you guys are looking for and you're looking for your way out and you believe you're worth more, you'll never out earn your own self-worth. You'll never out earn your own self image. If you're ready for 2024 and, and as we continue to go, cause this video will be out forever to be the greatest years of your life. It doesn't take 10 years to get ahead. It takes one good year, mm -hmm. the right organization, the right people, everything will change. And if you believe you're worth it, now's the time to take action. So fill that out. I can't wait for all of you guys to connect. Um, what is one more thing you guys would like to say to anybody that's watching this? It's like, dude, number one, like finding great people is just getting harder and harder to oh, do. Is. And I want to believe that it's not, but I see it every day. And a lot of people are settling and that's not you guys. What would you say to somebody that's like, you know, knows they're capable, but that just is afraid to go to the next level, is afraid to take action, is just like, you know, I don't know that, that that'll work for me. You know, hey, I'll do anything, but I'm not going to do that. You know, what, what, what would you say to them? I would say, you know, uh, first off, you have to have confidence in yourself, you know, and bottom line is like you have to partner with the right uh, group of people. You know, that's why I like to, you know, when we're recruiting or talking to people, I guess, we don't like to call the word or use the word hire, mm -hmm. right? Because hire, you know, it's just like being all overrated or, or overused, I should say, mm -hmm. where it's like, okay, you come here, it's a very transactional, you just know? Just transactional. Exactly. Job. Eight hours, here's the money, and that is it. You know, I, I told Stacy this, you know, the minute she got uh, hired or got into our company, you know, it's like, we're going to partner. You know, you're my partner. Uh, same thing with COO. It's a partnership. Yeah. You know, we come and bring people for life. Yeah, it's you more know? than work. A way more than this work. This is your family. I can tell you yeah. guys are like family. Exactly. Exactly. You know so, so with that, you know, it's just a matter of knowing that we we're gonna give you the, those tools. It's gonna be up to you. But bottom line is like, there's a lot of opportunity mm -hmm. that we can give you and partner with us. And, and once they commit, you guys won't let them fail. No. As long as they'll do the work as long as they'll be coachable, as long as they can just show up with a good attitude, you guys will give them the resources and everything they need to make it so that they can create this life that we've just explained. Is that right? Yeah, you know, you mentioned something earlier and it was, uh, it, as much as we don't wanna believe it's hard to find good people that wanna put in the work, um, it is. You know, and it, it takes a lot of dedication and focus to get up and do it every single day and have that drive and that energy. Um, but I'm just so motivated by by what Jonathan has grown in the foundation of the whole company that I just wake up energized every morning ready to go. Um, what, what Stacy? What if somebody's watching this and this is important because, and and they're they're like, but I'm but I'm I'm not qualified. I once thought that. Okay, because I, I think you need to drive I wasn't that. Qualified. I think you need to drive that home because people sometimes read too much into the headlines mm -hmm. of like what your industry is in and goes, I don't know anything about that. You don't have to know about it. Okay. So like you can train and be coached. And if you're, you don't to need learn, to know anything about what you're doing. Nothing. You just need to say, Hey, I'm willing to show up, put the work in, exactly. tell me what to do and I can follow instructions and I need somebody we'll to help teach you me. to get there and be successful. You don't know how to, ha you do not have to know how to sell solar. Okay. So everybody on this call, just if you're watching this, Everybody always thinks at some point, well, that won't work for me. We've literally explained that this works for a hundred percent of the people. So if you're watching this and you've always wanted to become more, maybe no one's ever believed in you, right? Like maybe like, let's just say, cause there was a point where no one believed in us. Mm -hmm. And then one person believed they're ready to believe in you. They're, they're looking for you. Matter of fact, we're talking about you right now. So if, if this is you, if you're ready for your way out, if you're ready for an opportunity, if you're ready for someone to help you grow and build the next level of your life, I mean, everything that you've always wanted, like instead of just talking about it, like let's execute and take action on it. You got people who want to go with you on the journey, which is very rare. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, how many people look to your left and look into your right? How many people are wanting you to become somebody great? Nobody's lined up. Uh And then you got these guys that are like, dude, we want to make you great. We want to help you get paid. We want to help you recreate your identity. We want to help you be around great people. We want to pull you into our family. And Uh you've already got a family? Good. We want to pull them in, too. Let's go. You're like, dude, are you kidding me? Like, what's the catch? The catch is you have to have the courage, okay, to make a change. And where we start is simply just filling out the information below, sending over a 60 second video, and then that way you guys can ask them any questions that you guys have and you guys can get connected. And then it'll go where it needs to go. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Okay, guys. Well, number one, here with NT Power, they're badasses. They're killing it. They're crushing it. They have the org, obviously, on the sell side where they're killing it. They have the installation side. They have everything that you need. That's why they're leading the way. That's why their people make a lot of money. That's why their customers are happy. That's why they get paid quick. Um, and really, that's why they're, they're great leaders and they're happy as hell because it's never been easier when you can build infrastructure like this. Now the next part is they want to build a massive army. They want to see a lot of people get paid, and they want to continue to grow and create more leaders. Mm-hmm. So if you're watching this, guys, we love you. We appreciate you. Hope you got a lot of value for this. And then who knows because I've seen this happen a million times. This is so cool. I had a buddy. He reached out to me and he goes, dude, um, I, you told me about an opportunity a long time ago and I took action on it and now I'm the top guy in that company and I knew nothing about it in the mm-hmm. beginning. So I want to tell everybody right now, like that can be you and it just is simple. And that person, they said, I really wasn't very smart, but I just did what they told me to do. You don't have to be smart. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I, I sold a lot of cars and I was, and I was young because I was dumb and my manager always <laughs> told me, he, he would say this as a compliment. He would, just, he would go, stay dumb. And I was like, I don't want to be dumb. He's like, please stay dumb. <laughs> He's like, don't get too smart, please. He's like, because those guys were once dumb and they made a lot of money and then they got really smart and now they're broke. Yeah. You ever heard that? Like, mm-hmm. just stay yes. dumb. Like, don't overthink it. Stay dumb. The opposite of industry too. Right, right. So my manager was like, just stay dumb, please. And, and I said, what does that mean? He goes, just keep having fun. Just mm-hmm. do what I say. Don't overthink it and stay away from those guys that think they know it all. And dude, like I just stayed in my in that lane that he told me to stay in, mm-hmm. and that was called the payday lane. Yeah. But for time to time, I would get out for a minute. I would think I knew too much. I would have conversations with one of these guys, and I'd get taken out. Mm-hmm. And then I would come back to payday lo- lane, and I'd go back to being dumb. <laughs> so it's like it's just the truth. Like just mm-hmm. just believe you're worth it. Put in the work. Have a good attitude. Show up. Listen to your boss. You know what I mean? Listen to your leader, and they will guide you to the greatest life you've ever seen. So we love you guys. We appreciate it. I can't wait to see how many of you get your lives changed with this amazing company, um, Human Capital. It's everything. It's all about people, okay? So if you want a great life, you got to be around the right people, and they want a great life, and they're looking to also be around the right people. This is like a match made in heaven, okay? So love you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Let's kill it. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.